Hello, my name is Jendo, this is Project Ozone 3 and uh, we're on episode 16, I think. I don't know. All right, like I said, I uh, upgraded these um, Wyvern solar panels and also uh, upgraded the vibrant capacitor bank. So we've got a few more of those. Right, these seem to generate about 131,000 RF per tick. Uh, it's not bad going at all and they've got capacity as well of uh, half a billion RF per tick uh, this one here is maximum input output of 1 million RF per tick and it's holding 1 billion RF per tick uh, I wanted to do it too high so I can get I like this uh, screen here lets you know what's going in what's going out so uh in the whole base at the moment we're using just over 4,000 RF per tick which is what my uh, magmatic dynamos we're using I, I repositioned these just so I can read the uh, crafting monitors easier and I've made them larger as well so I can do a larger print job now as you can see loads of, uh, of these crafting co-processing units and I upgraded the, uh, um, what are they, the, uh, the memory, uh, let's have a look what they're called, I set 64k crafting storage, um, just so I can do larger print jobs, and uh, not to worry, because uh, if you, the old ones I had, you can just uh, take out the uh, the actual storage component part of it, so I didn't waste anything. Um, what else did I do? Oh yeah. Uh, can't find it now. Is it still there? Oh, supreme. I went to cross a few of these ingots, ingots. So I uh, made a pattern for that as well. I can use those to uh, upgrade my Shriek and Stars. I've got two. I don't know if I mentioned the uh, the other one. I didn't do it on camera. But uh, I made a mistake putting the uh, embossment on. I put the wrong embossment on. So I made the second one and leveled it up. Um, but yeah, if I put a Supremium knife blade on them, then uh, it just increase the damage they do. Right, next thing I want to do is uh, make a start on pneumatic craft. I might as well do it down here on this level. Oh, hang on, before we do that. First thing we need to do is grab some iron I think that'd be enough come over to our trusty creeper trophy okay so with pneumatic craft we've got to build a few machines and they require compressed iron ingots and uh, you can build a pressure chamber or you can make an explosion with iron ingots and that makes compressed iron ingot we've got uh, our creeper trophy so if I put a stack of block of iron there, right click. Oh, bit of lag there. And we've got, did we lose some? Yeah, maybe it's not a one for one. Well, this should be enough anyway. There we go. Okay. So, what have we got to build? Well, we need some pipes. 82 might be enough. We need uh, an air compressor. Actually, we need more than one. Oops. Four should be enough. Uh, Vortex tube, heat sink, want two of those, 
thermopneumatic processing plant. Uh, and refinery. I think we need four of these. Uh, okay, we can build one of those. And a pressure gauge. And that should do us for that. We do need some uh, fluid. Have we got any fluid? Yeah. Um, we want to make some quantum tanks as well. Can't remember how many of these I need. Let's do six just to be safe. Um, I think that might be it. Okay, we've got a few advancements. So let's head down to the uh, machine floor. Um, let's see if I can remember how to do this. I've never used this mod, but I watched a good video, so uh, hopefully we can do it. Right, first thing we're going to do is the air compressors. Let's just put those there. One, two, three, four. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what I need. I did make them with some bonsai pots. I'm going to put those on top. And they will act like fuel. We got uh, dirt and uh, made some spruce saplings. Just want to make a change. Also, they don't drop apples, which might make it a bit more efficient and easy to make. Uh, wood essence, nature essence, which I've set up in the uh, void world. Okay, so put it down there. I won't put the saplings in yet because I don't want this system to start straight away. Um, things get a bit manic. Okay, so we can put this pipe here. That's good to go. That should generate uh, compressed air for us. Vortex tube. I need another one of those, don't I? Excellent. Right, next stage is we want to pump a vortex tube. Yep. Right, so put the full tape tube there. Now, let's try it there. Okay, so that's the hot end and that's the cold end. And on the cold end, we want to put heat pipe on it. Right, we want that pumping into our refinery. Refinery has to be four four blocks tall. Is that gonna work? Well, let's do that again. I don't know. One of them is at a different angle. I'm not sure whether that would cause me problems or not, so I thought best not to, just in case. Right, this pipe needs to go there, pumps into this uh, vortex tube. Now um, this generates heat and uh, you put the heat sink on the back because the cold side needs to be colder than the more colder it is the more heat the heat the hot side generates. Okay. Thermopneumatic processing plant is next. Put this over this side here. Um, again, we need it facing the right way. There we go. Put the heat sink on the back there. 
and we put that there. Hmm. Just going to move it, give us a bit more space. There we go. And that goes there. Should be fine. And then we can run this tube into that there. Also, I'd like to put. There we go, so we can keep an eye on the pressure. If it goes over five, it start blowing things up. But we'll worry about that in a bit. Okay, this will make our... Uh, we're missing something, aren't we? What are we missing? help it's the plastic mixer oops try doing it with a crafting grid right there we go okay where should we put this this is going to output plastic so let's just put it there. Right. I think we're going well. What we're going to do is stick one of these on there and there and there. And we need our wrench, don't we? Right. See this, this produces four outputs. So we want each of the outputs going to a, a tank. And we're quantum tanks overkill for this, but hey ho. And uh, it's going to be extract always active. And uh, these are going to be insert. Right. Now, we want to put the LPG into here and turn it into plastic. So if we take that pipe out, I'm not sure if we can pump from the top, but we'll give it a whirl. So this would be extract always active and that will be insert and then we want to pump out the plastic and pump it oops pump out the plastic put it in there right doing all right Let's head back. So we need a fuel to distill to get the LPG. And we're going to use crude oil. Let me show you how I'm getting crude oil. At the moment, anyway, I'm getting it from the uh, laser drill. There's quite a lot of it. So uh, where are we? Oil sand, oil sand, should be some more somewhere, real shay, alright, that'll do for now, I've set up a magma, magma crucible, whack that in, and that is producing crude oil, but you get one bucket for each one of these. And uh, that's just output into a quantum tank there. So I want to build a uh, end uh, 
Yeah, I can need a few of these. Oh, we're missing on cauldrons, aren't we? Let's just make a stack if we can afford it. Don't want to keep using my in friend of pals. Sure, I can use. Yeah. All right. Let's just make ten for the hell of it. Right. Put that there. Now I want to change this. Different color. Um. There we go. Let's just take some of those. So if I make it black and black, that changes the channel. And whenever I put black and black on there, then it'd be crude oil. And then we can just pump that into there. Like so. Head down. And oh, right. Let me see. I don't want to start pumping the wrong thing in. What was it? Black and black? Yeah. There we go. There's our end of tank. Uh, I wonder if I can just do that. Yeah, let's fill it up with crude oil. Right, let's turn this on and then maybe I can explain to you how it works. So, put those saplings in and it should be just enough to keep this thing going. Um, are these pipes connected? They don't look like they're connected. No. That's a bit... Have I gotten the wrong way around? I think I have. So you've got the hole there, furnace there, yeah. <laughs> right. Like I said, I've never used this mod before, so it's a bit of a learning process. Right, there you go, they're connected now. We'll put our spruces back. Three, four. Okay, they should start working in a minute. Take upgrades, I'm not sure what those upgrades are, but we should be alright with four. We can always build more if, if need be. Alright, so the fuel's gone in. And these air compressors, we've got no problems apparently. Now this machine is used to generate compressed air. Fair enough. This on, upgrades. Each upgrade will add five liters more air capacity. Okay, so if we look here, you can see the pressure's going up. We're at six bar, well, 0 0.6 bar, and it's going up. Now this pressure is going to go to two places. This vortex tube here. And if you look, pressure in the tube's going up, and the temperature's going up. And you can see the temperature in the machine. There's this blue bra here. When that gets to, I think, a hundred, it will start working. Does it say? No. Okay, now this machine again as well is uh, heating up, but it's slower. And that's because this, this uses more um, uses more heat, so it, it sucks the heat away quicker. But as you can see, the temperature's at 49, slowly going up. Okay, so let's explain this. This refinery distills the crude oil and we get uh, four outputs. 
let's see, uh, here we go. Right, crude oil, temperature has to be 100 degrees, and we it splits it, I forget what they call it, is it fracking or cracking or something like that, isn't it? Anyway, diesel, kerosene, fuel, and LPG. LPG is the one we want, uh, but we'll store those in the uh, quantum tanks just in case we need them later. I'm really not sure if we will, but who knows. Okay, so that will um, distill that crude oil. And uh, so the, the bottom one will be... Uh, will be <coughs> diesel and then the next one up will be kerosene then fuel but it's the LPG we want which will be stored in this tank and uh, when it's fracked it'll go to this tank and then we're going to pump it down into this thermoneumatic processing plant now we have to put some fuel in this so let's get some coal Let's just put a block of coal in. Uh, it might be a bit, bit of a waste, but why well, won't let's do that? Right. It has to be a uh, just normal coal. I wonder if I can feed that in with a hopper or something. Okay, so the thermoneutic plant. You put LPG in, and then it processes the LPG into plastic needs to work at 100 degrees and we need what's that a tenth of a bucket of LPG to make one bucket of liquid plastic so when this gets up to temperature it will start producing the LPG the LPG will go into there this processes it into plastic uh, our uh, pressure is going up 1.9 now and uh, that plastic will then go into this plastic mixer. This melts down the plastic into liquid plastic or to solidify liquid plastic into plastic. And we use dyes to make the different colors of plastic. Um, so we need red, green and blue. make some red there we go the green is cactus which uh, I made some cactuses using uh, using nature essence the nature essence was a pain actually to make the nature seeds you have to make these nature clusters and we had wheat but we had to get we had sugar cane seeds when we sifted dirt ages ago. Um, now we had pumpkin seeds and we had to get cactus and sugar cane. And it was a pain to get sugar cane seeds. We had to put seeds and beetroot, sugar cane seeds. And to do that we needed potato seeds to do the cactus one. But we got there in the end. Started growing the seeds. Right, so we need some blue as well, which would be lapis. And we stick that in the machine. So this is all ready. How's this temperature going? 71. Well, pressure's going up slowly. These machines are still firing. Let me just keep an eye on this. It'll take a bit of time, so I'll uh, I'll put a cut in. It's got problems with pi more heat by adding blocks that generate heat around this machine. So it seems that if we ensure no neighbouring blocks are there, to insulate the machine for better performance. So I can imagine that means just put a random block around it. I think we could do that. Let's see whether that helps. Um, I 
What should we put around it? I can't think of a block that would be cool. Uh, let's put some of these. I never use these. I made these anti blocks. See what it says now. Yeah, it doesn't tell us about insulation, so that's helped. And the temperature's rising. Oh, that's rose quick. Well, right, once you get to sort of 99, it sort of flickers. Oh, look, we've got some LPG in there. Didn't mean to do that. It reminds me, I think we're going to get spawns, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. So, we've got diesel in there. Not much, but a little bit. Kerosene. And there's a. Uh, what is that in there? Oh, fuel. Just this fuel. And this machine's got a small amount of LPG in it. Should have turned that into plastic. in the output tank. Well, I don't know. We've got temperature, we've got LPG. We got coal. Oh look! For some reason, I had to take the coal out and put it back in. Weird. Now there you go. If it doesn't work, try taking the coal out, putting it back in. As you can see, the LPG is uh, being turned into plastic, and uh, liquid plastics going into this machine. Get rid of that, I suppose. So. We wanted to make grey plastic. There we go, we've got one. That gives us four plastic. Now, what I want to do is put a tank in there. And that way, it should be insert. Let's insert. So that way, if we fill up with plastic, then we can store the plastic in the tank. It should work, shouldn't it? I also put some more blocks on the front here. It's increased the uh, the temperature and it makes it work a bit faster. I was wondering if I put another vortex tube onto it. Whether we can increase that temperature even more and make it run quicker. Could try that. Let's just check the pressure. Two. That's fine. Things start blowing up when you get to five. Temperature here is rising. No. It seems to be getting there. Okay, let's build a. Um, Another vortex tube. Uh, we might need a heatsink for it as well. There we go. Let's just see whether this. Uh, um, let's to put it there. No, that's the wrong way. 
Oh, this is going to be awkward, isn't it? Actually, I probably could have just used that. Right, let's put the heat sink back on there. Look it up. Um, let's see what this temperature does. Oh, it's staying the same. Maybe it's uh, because of the pressure's gone down there now. Maybe the, maybe it's just producing it quicker. Um, I suppose we could have another one of these, couldn't we? Let's try that. Air compressor. There we go. We're going to need a... Uh, a bonsai aren't we? Oh, actually I might have a spare bonsai. Yeah, spare hopping bonsai. So take a dirt and spruce. Now, this could be a bad idea, but we'll give it a whirl. There we go. That should start generating a bit more steam, uh, not steam, pressurised air. Keep an eye on this good day gauge. So, let's make another four of these. There's a few machines I want to build. Which is the whole point of building this thing. What are we doing with temperature? Well, it's pretty much just stuck there. Maybe this didn't help at all. I don't know, might have been a waste of time. We'll see. Okay. Leave that for a while. Hopefully, nothing will blow up. Let's stick the plastic back in there. Um, what do we want to do? Last thing. Oh yeah. So we got a premium ingots. Where's my other shuriken? Um, there it is. So I want to change one of the blades. Oh dear. Let's uh, stop that sand from going in there. And then we have to turn these off. We've got 88k of that glass. It's probably enough, really. Alright, I'll do the Supreme Union guts later, because it's going to take a while to clear, make space. Um, is there anything else to do? Oh, that's one thing I'd like to do. Let's change our GP power. Right, so we've got dragon eggs, and we can make a dragon egg mill. What do we need? I have redstone. Oh, easily done. One of these. Make some red torches. 
And then we got Dragon Mail. And we've got dragons. I made a load earlier. Now, the GP power, we're generating 64 at the moment and using 41. So if I put this down, let's just put it there. And that generates 500 grid power. So uh, we can get rid of this. Um, this uh, put these on the uh, source blocks. There we go. Nice one. So I don't have to have listen to that uh, noise of that water anymore. Now we've got loads of GP power. So what we can do, if we wanted to, is. Uh, Make another one of these. Oh, I think I've got any. No, let's make some of those. Um, have I not got? Hmm. Interesting. Extra utilities, isn't it? Let's check. Maybe it's. Uh... Ah, there it is. Resonator. Ah, uh, this needs power. Let's just stick it there. Gets this power from the GP, so we don't have to wire it up or anything. And then make an upgrade. A speed upgrade, we could put another one in there. Did I check? Make sure I didn't have any speed upgrades there. Okay. So this is done. Let's get rid of these so we don't lose it. Just stick some premium in there. It shouldn't take long to cook up. Okay. So I'm going to just stick one extra speed upgrade in there because uh, and I hope I won't keep up if I produce too much stuff. Um, I've been running through uh, crushed end stone to get more uh, draconium and uh, I did some crushed, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Crushed neverwreck as well just to get some more cobalt. We could uh, put this back to gravel, I suppose. There we go. Um, It's a bit peculiar. Oops. <laughs> oh, no, we got it. Should be working. Serving one tile, it's got power. Uh, 
Yeah, it seems to be glitched, doesn't it? it? Said it was paused, but there we go. Okay. There we go, it's working again. Oh, it's lost all its upgrades. Well, we shouldn't have started now. Seems to be a bit peculiar. Right, let's get rid of all of this. Don't need any of that. Right, shurikens. We haven't got a knife there. We've got one. Yeah, knife blade cast. There we go. It's a premium there. So let's make a premium knife. So now, it's the uh, emradic we want to change. Uh, we need two of these. Okay. Right. Um, problem is working out which one you put it in to get rid of the emratic. That's it. Okay, so attack damage 9.5 with the supremium goes up to 10.43, which uh, gets a boost as well. This one does a little bit of extra damage. This one. Uh, yeah, this one's got a bit more sharpness on it. A modifier, so we can upgrade that. Uh, we need some uh, quartz, don't we? Quartz. Let's grab a bit of that. There we go, sharpest. So this one does 11.53, 11.53. Uh, this one here has the chunky, which gives me mob drops. This one has uh, Solarium, which I put on by mistake, but it's not bad. The uh, Solarium adds Hellish, deal bonus damage to non-Never mobs. Splinter, I don't know what that does. So we've got two anyway, we've got a spare one. They both got anchored. Oh no, look, that one's not anchored. We can fix that. Uh, there we go. Oops. There we go, that one's anchored. 
Oh, almost lost that one. So we, we don't need mob drops. We've got enough as, as it is, really, I believe. All right. Well, I call that at the end of the episode. Um, have fun. And I'll catch up with you guys soon. Take care. Bye.